Hi, and welcome to our Microsoft 365 and Greenhouse Recruit integration video. As you can see from the screen, we're starting in Microsoft 365. This integration will take jobs out of Microsoft 365 and into Greenhouse. And then within Greenhouse, what's going to happen is that new job will present itself and the recruiter will enhance it. And then what will happen is you will hire someone and that new candidate will move back into Microsoft. So we're gonna start here in Microsoft 365 and create a new recruiting request. This is in the personal management tab, as you can see. And you can see the current recruiting requests um, on the screen. And then over to the right, if you want to request a new recruiting request, you can click there on the right. And you enter the description, the job to associate this request with, um, and then an estimated hire date. And that starts off the process for the recruiting request within Microsoft 365. You will then enter any other information that your company requires and then save it. So here you see they're adding the level. Um, there'll be pay thresholds, low and high, any comments, whatever your business process is for adding this recruiting request, you would just do it as you normally would to complete it. Then you save it. And at this point, the integration will capture that information and get, begin the process of moving that data from the recruiting request to a job in Greenhouse Recruit. So now we've moved over to the Greenhouse side. Um, your company's team will also have received a notification that the jobs have been updated in Greenhouse. We're sitting in Greenhouse at the My Dashboard, and now we're going to go find that that job that just got created in Microsoft is now sitting in Greenhouse. And sure enough, there it is. And so we'll click on it. And... Then you have the opportunity to edit it, your recruiting staff or your HR coordinators, whoever has the operational responsibility can go in and they can enhance the data with whatever is your own operational process uh, to then post the job and get it out and moving. Okay. And now we will go ahead and once the job has been enhanced, we'll go find a candidate and move them into that job so that they can be hired. So here's Robert Plant, and we're gonna assign them to that new job because that's the one they're actually gonna get hired on. We will make them an offer first because they have to have an offer with a salary and a start date, et cetera. And again, as much information as you would normally put in is what you will do. And then you move this stage. And now that the offer was accepted, we're gonna hire the candidate. And you have a choice of keeping the job open or closing it at this time. And then congratulations, your new hire is on the way. 
And so what's going to happen is the integration is going to pick up this new hire and then move it back into Microsoft. So we're going to switch over now to the Microsoft and take a look at that candidate. And here we are back on the personal management screen in Microsoft 365. And you can see this is where the candidates will come. So there's Robert Plant just pulled in from Greenhouse. And then what will happen is whatever your business requirements are for a candidate who's coming in at this will kick off. So in Microsoft Dynamics, you can enhance the data and then any business processes that would normally be kicked off for that uh, candidate or for your HR coordinators or whatever you have set up will act as normally as if you went in and keyed this. So that's how it works. It's a bi-directional integration between Greenhouse 365 uh, and the dead jobs go over and then the candidates come back once they're hired. So thank you very much for watching the video on how the standard bi-directional integration works. And we will see you later.